she has biceps, dude. Well, I'm gonna foster care. Those are the biceps of a free man. I was, I was about to say I was pronounced innocent. No, I was pronounced, I was declared guilt, innocent. I was declared innocent. We're also a hot start, dude. I just had fucking, uh, I had my lunch. You know my bitch makes a stir fry for your boy every day. That's how I'm jacked. Um, that, superior genetics. There's a lot of stuff that goes into it. I don't have time to get into it. But I just did have, as a little treat, fucking Raising Cane's. Have you had this? Like, people are like, it's amazing. Like, I don't know. It's not like fucking knock my dick in the dirt. The fries look like shit. So I was like, hold the fries. Give me five chicken tenders on the side. Not on the side. I love when you can just order a mount of chicken fingers. I want chicken. I'm here for the chicken. I don't need, they got some crinkly cut looking bullshit. And then what looked like garlic bread? Is that the deal over there? I, uh, I mean, black guy on a skateboard. Nothing will bring a smile to your face like that. Drew Montana just texted me, ruining up my goddamn podcast. Um, ruining this highly produced podcast. Yeah, but I had Raising Cane's Tendies pretty good. The sauce is good. Something's in my van that smells so bad. My, my helper said it was like peanut. I'm going to make him scavenge through this. Just figure out what it is. Because it fucking stinks. I also broke a pen somehow. I don't know. There's oil. Oh, not oil. Ink all over everything. Do I have a speech impediment? I got that itis, baby. That fried chicken itis. I wish I could. Uh, dude, that's what I know I'm making in life. If you see me driving around a Raptor, it's over. I don't even want I just like the cut. I don't know what it is about it. You know what I mean? That's like the work of man's Range Rover. Right? Like a what? What does Dodge have? Because I got a Tacoma, but I don't. I didn't want to buy the TRD. That shit's too fucking expensive, dude. I had a side job last night. My back is fucking killing me, dude. It was like I don't know if I, I mean a lot of guys that work listen to this shit. That's like my whole demographic is borderline racist guys who could swing a hammer, and I'm into that. Um, borderline racist, but not actually racist. Not cool. I already got declared. I'm not. I'm, I'm staying away from that now. Actually, I'm not. I'm going to stand 10 toes down on the... What do they call that? Walking the... Yeah, I pushed the boundaries, dude. I'm working at a church right now, and the ladies that are watching these kids are busted. I've dated a lot of fucking... Um, whatchamacallit? Like, kindergarten types? Kindergarten teacher types? I <laughs> Kindergarten types. I did not date those. Not legal. Um, Dude, this chicken's literally... I was like, maybe I'll give you an update. Yeah, but I went to court yesterday. Fucking innocent, dude. I knew that lawyer was for me as soon as I walked into his law office and the guy that was working the front desk was in a fucking Catholic school zip-up tracksuit. I'm like, here's three grand. Get me out of it, dog. Walked into his office, little Irish beady eyes. I'm like, three grand. You know what I mean? I'm going to put a turbo on your jet ski, brother. The best. Just a dead-eyed little Irish guy. He fucking just bodied the poor goddamn, poor little Jewish guy from fucking the state. He's like, it ain't happening. And the fucking cops showed up. Like, dog, you arrested me a year. It was like 14 months ago. I'm like, dude, I got a house and a baby since then. Fucking back up. All right. I'm such a, I wear my car hearts to, I try to like dress like I'm working. I had to go to a side job after, but I dressed like I was at work. Like you're ruining this. I'm wiring a church right now. And you're going to pull me for some bullshit. But yeah, I'm innocent, dog. Give the update. I'll pop this bitch up. It'll be up Saturday morning. I got a. I, uh, yeah, dude, I did a side job in a crawl space yesterday, and I'm just like, dude, I don't know if you guys live on the East Coast, but every house in Jersey has a fucking crawl space, and it's like one of them little, um, it's got like a window well, you gotta pop the plastic and then fucking shimmy my fucking ass down there, thank God I'm not fat, I don't know how the fats do it, like, whoever has to go down there and fix the sump pumps, I'm like, God bless your soul, dude, and then the neighbors, like, I'm working outside, it was like one of them jobs, I had to run on fucking wire to get, like, everybody wants these electric fucking fireplaces now, and, uh, I got the lady to send me the pictures, my buddy's sister, hot, by the way, shout out to her, um, she also looks like my buddy, when you see one of your buddies who has a hot sister, you're like, ah, you should have been a girl, dude, you're a pretty boy, you know what I mean, if we were in jail, I'd have to take you, but, um, no, it's like one of them things where people send you a picture of the job, and you're like, fuck, cake, wham, bam, 400 bucks, I'm out, as soon as I get that, I noticed where the panel was. I was like, fuck. So I had to poke a hole outside of the house, dig a trench around the side of the house, poke into the crawl space, shoot across the other side of the house, back outside of the house, around the corner, behind the fireplace, in. I think I got home at like 7 o'clock, then went to fucking uh, helium. Helium, helium for nightcap, baby. Christopher Titus was there, who um, I kidding, 
I, do we not like that guy? I don't know anything about comedians. I'm like, I couldn't get a vibe off him. But he did do his set with a lapel mic, which I think is full-on psychopath behavior. I'm like, it's not a... I, I need the mic just so I have one busy hand. Because if I didn't stand up, I would just stand with my hands at my side. If I had a lapel mic, I would probably start messing with my dick. Like, what do you do? I'd get drunker. You know what I mean? You bring the cocktail up, and then at least this hand's busy. I'm so dumb. It took me like three years in the stand-up before I noticed people were like, you know you're supposed to move the mic stand? I'm like, you're supposed to move the mic stand, dude. How about you You move it for me? I'm not moving shit. I'm taking it out, and I'm leaning on it because that's the level of effort I'm putting into this. But, uh, dude, Christopher Titus, like, actually hung out and watched the late night show, and he's like, uh, what'd he say to me? He, like, I didn't know he was watching, and he pulled me to the side. He's like, hey, he's like, you got it, kid. I'm like, first of all, I'm 35. He's like, you got it, kid. Keep doing what you're doing. I was like, all right, man. Thank you. And then he's like, but stop saying fuck so much and don't call the audience pussies. I'm like, well, it, if I'm not, like, who's going to do it? You have to do it. If they're being pussies, I'm going to, I got to say it. It's a reflex, dude. I'm in construction. My fat helper better be letting me in soon. Dude, they're doing, I've done some sad comedy shows. I'm working at a church right now. We have to stop from like 1130 to 1230 for mass. I'm like, dude, what kind of fucking loser you got? What kind of loser do you have? Like weekday church, dude, catch me on a Sunday. And I'm not coming then, but I'm just saying weekday church, gotta go. But I thought I've done some shit show comedy shows. This fucking preacher's in there with two guys. He's doing like a theater of the round church. Oh, we've gone over this. The pe Pentecostal. What's it called? The Pentecostal? Episcopal? Episcopal? I don't know. I also feel like a fucking pedophile. Because we're in the church and then there's a daycare underneath the church. And all I hear is kids screaming all day. I'm like, great. Now it's like haunted by fucking molested kids. And now we got kids screaming in the basement. It's not. It's a bad vibe. Bad vibe all over. It's not a Catholic church. It's tough. Dude, I had a Catholic lawyer, dude. They don't lose. I guess they've lost some, like, uh, Vatican cases. But, you know, what do you got to do? You got to crack a couple eggs to make an omelet. You know what I mean? Do you want the beautiful fucking sculptures? Dude, I went to the Vatican. I was banging a chick that went to, uh, I wasn't banging her yet. But she went, she went to, uh, Penn State, had, like, a satellite campus in Rome. And she was like, why don't you come hang? So I flew out there. And you know how it goes. Dude, if I fucking strike out, if I strike out at the, uh, is this chick watching me do this? She's looking and liking. She's witnessing the power of podcasting in a work van. Women, she's taking her pants off right now. She's fingering it. She's fisting her ass. That's what happens, dude. Watch me work. That's how it go. You know what I mean? She's uh, hearing aids or some kind of new headphone. I don't know about. All the new headphones, I'm like, are you disabled or are you just jamming out right now? But, um, no, I met, yeah, I went over to see her. But if you're on vacation, if you have a lady friend around... You strike out at the bar, you're like, wow, I fucking kick the tires on this. I need to stop being such a pig. I hope my daughter watches this one day when she's like fucking, tw I mean, who knows? YouTube's going to be dead and gone by them, right? Yeah, if my daughter has to talk, hear me pussy bragging on the fucking podcast, I'm like, hey, I'll, you know. But it was a good time. I remember I was such a fucking, I, I was hammered. The last night I was in Italy, I went out to a club. I was so dumb when I was younger, I thought... When an airplane took off, you just walk up like five minutes before takeoff, sit down, wham, bam, out. And the last night I was there, I, I met this Irish chick. She was fucking smoking. And um, we were at the club, and I was like, why don't you come back to my... I was like, my flight's at 6. We hang out till 4.35. Taxi to the airport, we're fucking in there. So she leaves at like 4. First of all, I thought she had like this great hair. And then she started pulling her extensions out. I'm like, dude, dude. Ew. It looked like a fucking, you know what I mean? It looked like a fucking, I don't know, like a rabbit. What were that thing called? It's a ferret tail? I'm like, leave the fake hair in. And then she's like blowing me and she was talking about her boyfriend. I'm like, shut up. Tell me about stuff I don't care about while we're fucking hanging out. But then, so she leaves and I fucking take the ride to the airport. And this is when you were sigs inside in Europe, dude. Europe rules. I was smoking in the smoking lounge. And I, like, I had my fucking, I think I I literally had beats at the point, I think. Whatever headphone I was in, I wasn't listening. I'm jamming. I'm fucking wasted. And, um, they come and get me. They're like, you Mr. Foster? I was like, what are the chances? And, uh, apparently the, I, I held the whole plane up because I checked in and then went to smoke. They had to put me on a fucking golf cart and bring me out to the plane. 
I get on the plane, sit down. I'm like, this is crazy. And then two other, like, two little kids were with me who were like, I guess sharing custody from Europe to fucking Florida, whatever the fuck. Yeah, right? If your wife's in Italy, you got to be in Jersey or New York, right? So they're flying. We flew back to JFK. But uh, I sit down, and the girl next to me is like, can you believe they held up the plane for one guy? I was like, what an asshole. Who? She was like, I don't know. They didn't tell us who it was because everybody was still shuffling with the luggage. But, yeah, God bless her. God bless her soul. Don't know her name at all. Do you guys remember everybody's names you've had sex with? Is that crazy? Like, I'm not, yeah, I don't know. We're not going to get into that, you know? Sometimes you wake up, you're like, I don't know. You ever run into a girl at the bar and she's like, hey, you're like, hi. And she's like, you don't know. I'm like, dude, this podcast is going nowhere. I got to go back in in a minute. But, uh, yeah, dude, I feel hungover from this chicken. Usually I only get this from my girlfriend trying to make a pot roast last night. I don't know if the pregnancy's... Uh, not a pot roast. I don't know the names of any food. It's like porridge. Brown. Pot stew. You know what I'm talking about? You put it over rice. It's like usually good, but whatever the meat she got was no bueno. I felt like I was fucking chewing a wallet. But if you love your bitch, you got to chew it and be like, this is delicious. If you're going to miss one fuel, you know what I mean? You miss one time. You know what I mean? Nobody's perfect. Except for my mother. I don't think, ah, my mom's missed a meal maybe, I'm sure. But what can you do? But I'm innocent, dude. We're turning over a new leaf. No more drunk. No more allegedly drinking, driving. You're not going to cost anybody when they pull you over. You're not going to shove the guy to the ground whose car you hit. You're just going to take your charge. You know what I mean? Apparently, refusing to feel sobriety was the move to go for me. I was just being cranky pants. I, I literally, they were like, can you walk a uh, straight line? I was like, bad ankle. Bad ankle. You can tell I used to be an athlete. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, I wouldn't recommend that. This motherfucker's dressed like where Waldo, where's Waldo. Let's check him out. Can I flip this? I mean, we got two back-to-back. This one Puerto Rican guy, his haircut's like Andrew San... Not Andrew Santino. Who's the other guy? Andrew Schultz. This guy, where's Waldo City over here? Where's Waldo? That's how you end the podcast. All right, boys. We're innocent. I got to fucking work tomorrow. Every time I get a side job now, I'm like, this is the price that I add on $500 to see if they want to do it still. And if they take it, I'm like, fuck. All right, I'll take it. I bought my... Did you guys know you have to get girls push push presents? Like, how do women trick us into that? How about I give you the push present after you push, all right? But, yeah, I got my bitch rims. We probably talked about this. But, oh, some fucking dickhead in the rental truck hit my fucking taillight. Broke my taillight on my truck. So, luckily... One of my neighbors wrote the guy's license plate down, so I called him. I'm like, listen, fucking truck Z29 or 4, get it on the, get it off the yard and get it into my fucking, I need $300 for taillights. All right, have a good weekend, boys.